Macario Garcia was born in Mexico, Villa de Castano, in 1920. His family settled in Sugar Land, Texas, in 1923. Due to working on the farm, he only achieved a third grade education. You want fast action, outdoor action, real man-sized action. Well, here's action that tops them all in the combat branches of today's army. And now if you qualify, you can choose the action branch you want. On November 11th, 1942, he was drafted into the army, but wasn't an American citizen. War continues to ravage Europe, but help is on the way. On November 27, 1944, one month after being promoted to sergeant, Garcia and his platoon were pinned down by machine gun fire in Germany. When his platoon retreated, Garcia refused to go down without a fight. He went forward alone until he reached the machine gun location. Garcia launched grenades and invaded the location and destroyed the gun. When he finally rejoined the platoon, a second gun started firing, and Garcia fiercely charged the nest alone a second time and succeeded once again. After returning home from the war and for his brave acts of heroism, Mercario Garcia received the Medal of Honor, Purple Heart, European African Middle Eastern Campaign Medal, American Campaign Medal, World War II Victory Medal, and Bronze Star. Truman said he would rather have a Medal of Honor than be President of the United States. In September of 1945, Garcia finally returned home to Sugar Land, Texas as a beloved American hero. But little had changed in some people's minds around the town from which he fought. Garcia one day decided to go to a restaurant that only white people went to, but there was no sign saying that he wasn't allowed. The server didn't take his order because he was Hispanic so Garcia became furious. A fight broke out in which some white men joined Garcia, but ultimately he was arrested. Eventually, the charges against Garcia were dropped, and in June of 1947, he became a U.S. citizen. He went back to school to get a diploma, and afterwards became employed for the Veterans Administration for which he worked 25 years. He married Alicia Reyes on June 25, 1947, and had three children. Their names are Carlos Roberto, Maria Teresa, and Rene Gustavo. In November of 1963, he was part of a group of Mexican Americans who greeted President John F. Kennedy at a Houston gala. Christmas Eve of 1972, however, Garcia died from injuries of a car accident at the age of 52. After his death, the local government of Houston honored his memory by naming a middle school after him as well as renaming 69th Street in Houston as South Sergeant Marcario Garcia Street. In 1983, Vice President George Bush named Houston's new Army Reserve Center after him. He may long be dead, but his actions in life are reflected in those who live today, standing for the values he stood and fought for.